I like your hat, Sasuke. Oh no. All right, we're ready. I, Sasuke, here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, and I want to talk about ringworm today. <gasps> we see this so much. It's super common, unfortunately, but it's also super, super easy to treat. Really, really easy. So this little girl here is here for a little uh, checkup, a little is health check. Chloe? But also find a friend, right? Is she finding a friend today? She just found a friend oh. today. Okay. So she oh, look at the was, scab on her ear. yes, she came from. Is that a bite or is that part Pecco. of the ringworm? Now, this happens all the time, people. Please do not buy from pet stores, okay? Pet but store guinea pigs? In defense, I have to say, Ding. in the fence, is that a lot of people don't know that there is an alternative option. Yes. So, you know, I'm not going to get mad at people. I'm just saying, a yes. people just don't know. It's generally, it's all, it's the, the corporations presenting uh, small cages as acceptable and, right. and a lack of education. Exactly, and exactly. exactly. And, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, of respiratory infections that I see in the young babies. Yes. That uh, come from PECO and PetSmart. Yep. And um, ringworm, very, very, very common. So, you you found the videos, so you've already started treating the way we What's recommend, ringworm, right? What's ringworm, Saskia? Ringworm, oh God, yeah, thank you, uh, Scotty. <laughs> ringworm is not a worm, it's a par well, it's not a parasite, I'm sorry. It's a fungus, so it grows as a fungus on your skin, it's like a skin infection. So don't freak out when you hear the word worm, because it's not a worm. <laughs> That's actually a good one, Scott, thanks. A lot of people totally freak out when they hear that ringworm. Oh my god! Uh, I'm on a roll. Okay. So All right, we had we had to cut roll. for uh, to to help one of our volunteers. You were asking, you were talking about ringworm. What is yes, it? Yes, contagious. It is and, contagious. So and it's you not want a worm. Be careful! It's not a worm. No. Um, Fungus? It's a fungus, and the spores kind of, you know, can also get it. But you, you said it is contagious, or it's it not con contagious. Yes. Yes. <gasps> so wait. Can get it. We can get it. Don't you, know, you need gloves the on then, Saskia? No, I'm not wearing any gloves because I, last time I got it is when we had all the huge, that huge group of the North. Wait, so you got ringworm? Ew! How did you treat it? The same way we treat the guinea pigs. Yeah. I just, uh, just a cream is all it takes. I, I actually have one on my, on my chin. Remember here on my, yeah, on my cheek? Yeah, I can't see it. And that's because we, all those uh, NorCal pigs, yep. they, most of them had ringworm. And we're so kissing all the fungus pigs. It was like, <laughs> I handled 800 of them, so it was no surprise that I got it, right? I take an anti-fungal bath but with just head and shoulders. You know what you do. See, now we're talking about that. And I'm I use head and good stuff on my I head. use head and shoulders just as a body shampoo after the rescue day. It's double, that's awesome because then, that kills any spores. Absolutely. It's a zinc component in the shampoo. Yeah. So that's part of the treatment actually. So she is getting of twice or three times daily uh, cream. This is myconazole, I believe, or tonitate. Uh, either way is good. Oh, that, oh, look, it's right here. It's not myconazole. It's right there. <laughs> it's tonitate. Tonitate, antifungal cream. On the actual spot on the actual area you want yep. to really put it into the skin so it really gets to heal that or it gets to kill the fungus um there's a little a scab here that spot. she's been scratchy yeah. and that will stop so you can put a little bit of neosporin on it um, and then make sure you put a nice margin around the area as well for the hmm. fungus so that it's not going to spread What's any further calorie. Valerie, Valerie was saying that she used the, the like a little brush to a makeup brush. A makeup brush oh, to, very to nice. Paint it on. Yeah, because yeah, why not? Instead of clumping it over the exactly. fur, you can get it under the fur. Yeah. Sure. And, nice. Um, this is Chloe. So we also like to bathe them. We actually here have a shampoo that is the Davis Myconazole, isn't it? Davis Myconazole yeah. treatment shampoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Phenomenal, and we, as a rule, bathe all the guinea pigs, even if they I don't think, have yeah, it. We have some over on the side. I can take a shot right at the end. But a lot of people don't have the special shampoo, so we just tell them to use Head and Shoulders, which is very effective as yeah. well. Yeah, or even the generic Head and Shoulders from the dollar store. That's what I use. Right. Oh yeah, absolutely, guys. Don't go for the brand names. Dollar yeah. store. We love the dollar store. For sure. Really, you can get like this, this stuff too. And this, you know, it's athlete's foot. It's exactly the same thing. Athlete's foot. 
and jock itch and all the other things like that. That Saskia, is all. Saskia, we're trying to monetize this video. <laughs> <laughs> jock itch. But it's the same thing. No, you're right. So but don't freak out, people. And uh, in a week, pigs. you're gonna see already the the hair starting to grow back. Having guinea yeah. pigs leads to a lot of different types of adult conversations. Yeah, it does. It sure does. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and if people ignore it and think it's gonna get better and just don't treat it, no. uh, it's terrible. I've seen them come in with. I mean, have empathy. Like, if you see your pet itching, can you imagine what it would be like to try to ignore your own itching? That's a meditation, yeah, though. That. You know, and sit you know, there and try else, to ignore you know, what it. What else, Scotty, is that a lot of time people take them to the vet when they have this. Yes. And the, I mean, the vet we probably we be happy so to charge you a hundred dollars for a tube of. Uh, well, the thing is that often we see so many guinea pigs, so we just look and we already know. Oh, yep. there you go. That it's ringworm. Where the vet will probably want to do skin scraping to confirm it. And and you know what the what the scary part about that is is that. 70, no, maybe not. 30% of the time, a skin scraping comes back negative when it is, in fact, even if it is ringworm. Yes. Weird. So, what happens, and I've seen this again and again, is that the vet will not treat for ringworm. And then we'll start to, you know, maybe uh, see if it's mites, and then another week goes by. So, they're giving ivermectin instead of. Ivermectin, exactly. I mean, an antifungal bath couldn't a, hurt. I've even had a vet suggest yeah, have, have blood work. They blood were work. Just, yeah, people were just so. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with the guinea pig. So, the, the vet said, let's, you know, more blood work and uh, steroids. Instead of actually just uh, but, yeah, fixing it. The steroids might normal. help for the itching, it's but it seems like a crazy... So didn't that happen, that yeah. happen to uh, I'm sure that Claire's kitten? They did a... Uh, it was a yeah. fecal test. It was not a skin well, that, was a, that was a fecal test that came back. They often come back negative as well. For so ringworm? No, no, it was just a fecal oh. test that came back negative, and then I ended up um, giving it a medication, metronidazole, and within three days it was completely... Resolved. So, hmm. um, you get a lot of yeah. false negatives. Yes. Results. Yes. So, if you think if it walks like a duck, duck, duck. And quacks like a duck, right. then. And it probably is, right? Yeah. So, yeah. All of a sudden, this turned into it's a Dr. Seuss video. video. Oh, oh, yes. When you have a really, really badly neglected ringworm, it will become this really thick crust yes. and on their skin and oh my gosh they are so painful and they want to itch and scratch so bad and what happens is that they'll go into a seizure yes. from the scratching and then that in turn can lead to death because their heart just can take it and stop and stops. Um, if they're that bad right Benadryl a little Benadryl, yes. children's Benadryl. Benadryl. Which is normal for absolutely everything, and you gotta wrap them up. You gotta figure out a way to wrap them up when they're seizuring because with gauze or something. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wrap them up, and just doing the bed pause doesn't really help because it's actually almost impossible to do. Is what I meant to say. So we just, you know, apply a bandage here, yeah. just around, and the guinea pig can't scratch, so thus no more seizures while it's healing. Okay. But this is pretty early on, so... Yeah, well, she's gonna be just fine. Here, have some more, I'm sorry. <laughs> here, mommy. Good girl. She's she's so sweet. You got a good one there. Uh, All right, well, yeah, wish it. her luck. That was that. Cool. All right, thanks, Saskia. I'm sure that's gonna be helpful. Beware of guinea pigs. So yeah, 